Okay, well, I was looking for something and for some reason I can't find it. Yeah, whatever. Let's just get into the runs. Let's see if let's see if we can get one gone. Oh, I know what I was doing. I was opening up Sammy. go of course it, of course it won't play it never does every time I want it to start it doesn't work oh, let me share that ah oh, shit there we go oh boy a long, long time since I used that share command Should make sure this actually is working correctly. Um, Ooh, look at that beautiful gold. There we go. All right, okay. Now we're all set. Three, two, one, let's rock. The only bad part about having so many splits, especially if you're using, especially if I want to have my sounds on, is just the fact that you're going to hear a lot of gold. Who needs egg shots? Not me. Ooh, look at that beautiful gold.
go. How about you just take 14 seconds there? I messed up there, so we're just gonna wait. Scares me that the skull is actually a little bit smarter in this one. Oh dear, okay, yeah, we're gonna do that. Lost time there? What? Oh boy, I, f I forget the safety for this next stage. This is one level I should have been I should have been practicing at the start, but I decided to go gung ho right into it. Good enough for me, I don't care if it's slower. I take five seconds there, yikes. Yikes, yikes, and yikes, okay. go the slow way here just because I don't know how the skulls react and I just I don't have the time or want to really learn it. There's just way too many levels here to remember to try to figure out the fancier stuff that saves me. Actually that one actually is a big time save. I shouldn't say that. Come 
Well, let's get this first try. Not the way I wanted to go, but we got a first try. Yikes. What? Oh, that's right. I, that's right. I kept screwing up that stage. I couldn't remember what to do. Ah, uh, yes. The infamous stage in Lola 1. Good luck, am I? I fully expect myself to maybe do one or two more runs. This game is a little too long for my liking. And GG on the uh, sub 50 on gravity. Sadly, I missed the run. Back to the glory that is NES. Simple games. Eh, that's what we all say. Until we actually have to play them. Oops. Shit. Okay, we're good. Do this little nifty trick. Armadillos hate it. And we don't care. have any idea on what your next game might be? Something is a... Something is a... Ooh, Kabuki is a good one. Yes, I would... I'm on the ticket of you should try Kabuki. It's a very simple game to get good at, but hard to master. Plus, it just has great music. I've always thought about going back to Kabuki years ago. I had to learn for Ness Cath on 2019 and just never, never came back to it. Oh, he played nice today. Thank you. In this stage, as long as you do your movement at the end right, you'll never get touched. Easy every time. Okay. I'm gonna give the warning now that there will be a f there will be massive flashing soon. 
Once I move the block to the upper left, it's gonna be a massive amount of flashing, just FYI. It's gonna be coming up right here. I actually remember to put the flash on there. Oh, let's go. Got the quick got the quick cycle. Oh, I didn't even get the gold. Come on, son. Time to skip 10 levels. Okay, casually, you're supposed to go to the right there to get a special item. The item is not required, but it's helpful to complete the game. That was that was hard. That was a quick cycle. Ooh, look at that beautiful goal. Fuck! I looked at I looked at chat. What's going on, Gron? morning to you as well, even though it's afternoon for me. Okay. Small time loss, but nothing crazy. Luckily, it happened at the beginning. Actually need to trap this armadillo just as long as you make him roll right here you're 100% in the clear 
Oh wow, I'm that was almost four minutes ahead. Four minutes ahead? That's crazy. Scariest stage in the game. And we're good. Almost accidentally moved the wrong one. Make sure to not get that last heart. Okay, not out of the woods yet. We gotta dodge a fireball. And be quick enough not to activate a second fireball. Alrighty, so I mentioned earlier how we, we skipped 11 levels. No, 11 or 10 levels. I forget exactly how many it is. But there is a specific reason for it, and I will show you why in a second so in the game there are four hidden areas you must locate to in order to get a special power that will help you help you beat the devil as it's called in this game but in order to get those powers you must unlock hidden areas that feature four gods in order to find them you got to oh i must have skipped a split there but you gotta find these hidden areas that'll unlock four special puzzles that you have to complete. And each one will give you a specific power. Now, you don't... In the game, there's a power that you get called just a bell that rings anytime you finish a stage that has a cave that I have entered. The thing is, the game does not tell you where they are unless you get the bell. The bell will have will ring a sound when you get it. But again, you don't you don't need it to actually for it to appear. You just need to know where it is. The hard part is figuring out how to activate it. The game doesn't tell you that you need to line up the blocks. the movement, I can just go. Be 100% fine. And this game has a very, very bad mechanic that I don't like, in that if you die, you will go back to the start of the last level you completed. Which, for the most part, isn't bad. It's not the worst thing in the world. But in stuff like the cave, the cave is considered one full stage, even though it has four puzzles. So even finishing a puzzle and dying in the cave, you get transported out of the cave and have to go back in. Which means you got to recreate the cave in order to go in. And then you're going to see why, it, well, you might see why it's problematic. There's a good chance you will anyway. Because in this game, there are about 15 to 20 water stages that you must traverse via a, a raft. Instead of getting a key, you get a raft in the coming stages. And if you start, you're starting at the beginning, so you've got to traverse the water. As you can see, it runs very slow.
Ooh, look at that beautiful gold! Now, the beginning ones aren't too bad. It's the later ones that that become problematic. Ooh, look at that beautiful gold! And then the other thing is learning how... is learning where to get off the raft. Because it's tricking you, oh, get off here, but no. Then the game goes, wait, get off here, no. It constantly tries to trick you in where to go. Nope. I pressed A again, you fool. And then not only knowing when you get off the raft, but obviously how to traverse because the game works differently with water where sometimes creatures' eggs can traverse water different based on where it is. And then once you get the raft, it's actually knowing where to get on the water. Hence why I have all the, the hit the tips for down, left, right, blah, 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 blah. Why it's important to know when to get off of the raft is the fact that once you're off the raft, you lose it. Section number one done. Better. All right, now it's time for RNG help. This right here could take 45 seconds, two minutes, or four and a half minutes. Also, a small I believe there's a small flash when this happens. So I need to line up all of the Rockies, the great characters, into a, into a, into a, a vertical line. And your best bet is to just sit here and wait. Okay, but I do need I do need them to start moving over. Okay, there we go. And it's literally just a luck luck of the draw. So I don't like how that they're lined up like that. Son of a bitch, you had it. You had it and you ruined it. No, go down. And this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this level, this is the worst level in the game. Because you are literally just, it's, it's Lady Luck. Let's 
try to move him around a bit, see if anything happens. Oh, oh almost had it. Come on, come on. Push up. It's the worst, because the Rocky itself has the lowest priority of movement in this. <laughs> I mean, thankfully it's, well, technically Famicom, but still, yes, I'm surprised it's not flickering like crazy. <sighs> Come on. Let him in. a game where you just don't worry about it. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. Don't know what they were thinking making that level. <laughs> okay, let's be quick about this and hope we get lucky. And welcome, uh, also welcome on in JSR. Ooh, Hope you're doing well. That's a gold. Oh, don't need second gold. One, two, three, four. Oh, I miscounted. I miscounted big time. Cave number dose. Let's get let's meet the, let's meet our second god. E. Oh, where's my A? I need my sports. Come on. Not in the game. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I love that they give you the harder version of this level. At least in the NES version, they were a lot nicer and gave you at least some rocks. forget how easy E is. There we go. I like it when I get actual NES Lola levels. Gives me a nice break from having to think for a while. Time to meet our second god. I mean, oh yeah, oh that's right. Losing time due to RNG hell. Like that level and one are the level of the big reasons why I don't wanna. I don't wanna do a long run of this. That and the fact that I actually want to get the link to the past. Which by the which, which by the way, because of everything going on the next month and a half, I'm not gonna have a lot of time to practice. So I'm thinking about Monday night when I when my wife is at Cats, I am going to do a just a dry full run of the game. Just say heck, heck it and do it. No just do the tricks I know and not worry about anything else. 
The bomb jumps I can learn later. Even if I know... Even if I know that, um... Ice Palace is gonna suck. Because I'm not gonna do bomb jump. Water levels part two. Let's not mess this up. This is one of the trickier ones. It's not really tricky per se, it's just you have to be fast in getting out of the way. Because you need to move that armadillo on the upper right over to the left side. And then obviously block him in. Got it. Let's go. Here, the trick is you need to pull well, the faster way is to get off right there, then go all the way to the left here and go up on here. In the middle, up next to the bush. Ooh, look at that beautiful go! I must have died there last time. That's a big time save. Now, the big thing I hate about these water levels, other than you can get screwed by dying, is the fact that they're just artificially long. I'm not. I'm doing a bigger brain. A bigger brain. Eggerland, but yes, Lola. Still Lolo. Come on, give the some credit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I've been playing it for four years. Hey. <laughs> I know Lolo. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> I'm gonna take that though. Okay. Yeah, one thing I love that this game does a lot, especially with the rafts in the levels here, is that if because you can see you can you can walk anywhere on the raft. And if you if you're in a square that has an actual trajectory that you can't see, some of them will lead you into instant death. Because the game hates you. This one I need to I need to focus on. Him. See, this is the tough one right here. Okay, right, up, left. Then I need to egg him. Got it. Nice. Because you need to shoot the egg and egg him before he fires. Okay. Look here, the game thinks you should. Oh, maybe just stay on the egg and keep going. It's gonna go towards the raft. Wrong. Just stop short. In this fireball, we don't have to worry about. We're not going to get hit by it. Okay, this is the technical end of the water, second part of the water section. Don't get off the raft here. Get off at the block. This egg is going to be doing a couple of trips around the island. Whoa, Jesus, that was close. Okay, first we need to block 
Let's block that um, Snaky so he reappears um, below this heart. Oh no, oh Jesus. I'm gonna lose a little bit of time here, but the time loss is gonna be better than having to die. Completely forgot to do this. that snakey down below. Yeah, the one big diff one big nice difference about this version is the fact that snake uh not snakey's um what the what what the hell are they called? The dragons can't, um, can't shoot unless you're fully. Hey, Darius, how you doing? Can I, can I get him? Can I get him? We got him. Okay, we're good. We are good. Let's roll. Can't complain. I'm technically playing video games while I'm working. I should say technically I am. Even though I have another 15 minutes off to work. But no one really needs to know that. by accident. Alright, the stage that sucks. So I say that I say that about a lot of stages. Because most of them do. <laughs> Let's go, I got the timing down. I mean I, I didn't have much left to left to work anyway, so. I got... That was my fault. I got greedy. I should have waited. That was very dumb of me. The greed was real. Fortress and hard. Don't 
Well, you know what? Make sure that make sure these two are up first. Then let's worry about the rest. Take a little gold there. Shoot. So I lost a lot of time for being dumb, but you know, that's fine. I mean, wait, what? Oh. Ooh, look at that beautiful gold! Just got a weird email. <laughs> Big trick here, do not get this heart that I'm going by. Leave that one for last. Then the other trick here is to make sure you get off the egg right at this block and do not get back on. Then we are going to block the Medusa one final time, then wait for the snakey. Yet again, luckily I remember this time, but level 64, I completely forgot yet again to um, put right on the, the sheet there. disappearing, or sinking, I should say. Then that way, I can get on this egg, which tricks you into thinking it's going to go right to the raft, but turns just at the last minute. Then wait here for the other snakey. Wait just a bit, because that egg takes a bit to disappear. trick she was like hey get off here no wait <laughs> I, almost, I almost decided to really screw myself over there now hopefully i didn't mess this up okay we should be okay in the last time I ran this, I'm really curious on what the casual way is. Only for the fact that when I'm when I when I get the last heart, or not even last heart, when I get to the when I get to the um into the water, look how many egg shots I have left. Yeah. I have six egg shots. But I'm done with the level. So it's like, what is the casual way to do that? Ooh, look at that beautiful right. Water section part three done. And the big thing here is get that top middle heart last. And also block the skulls. Don't, 
We don't want to push the snaky egg and then push him to the right. We actually want to go up here. Pushing it to the right kills you. This is a fun one. This is one where you have to use the snake in three different locations. down, get the two hearts, move the second one next to me. Oh. Okay. And push the snakey down, get all of the hearts, and then push that top, that bottom left one, the top of the L. That's the one we're gonna cover. This one is to get off at the chest. Yeah, the water tr the water travel takes longer than the, the level itself. Saint, a zero second gold. Let's let's wait here. Let's egg this Alma first. Oh, it does work. Let's go. Oh, that's a time save. Trick here. Don't get that first heart. Get the second one. And get all of the hearts along the way. Hey, you want those egg shots before you get destroyed by the by the gold. Uh, 
we're almost done with the water, folks. Almost done. Let's go. Ooh, look at that beautiful gold! Always forget how that one goes. <laughs> and the water is done. Ooh, look at that beautiful goal! I love it. You can literally die from a level you've beaten because you get up too early. That's what she said. Ah, finally, a familiar level. <laughs> sure you can. What's stopping you? Ooh, look at that beautiful gold! <laughs> okay, so there will be a flashing once I gather the last heart. Even though I do have it on my splits, I like to announce it because it's a pretty mean flash. Not many Lolo games where you can say you get infinite egg shots. How you doing, Richter? Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. And now we wait. And also thank you for the good luck. Okay. Wait right here for the snakey to reappear. One thing that this version of Lolo will, will teach you is how to be a much better half block mover. Because there are times you'll need a half block move a block away from a from a um a Medusa. There is a faster way with this level, but we're going slightly sh um, slower by moving that top left down facing goal, forcing us to do this, only because it just saves us the trouble of having to dodge the flame. just the weird ability to be able to remember way too much in terms of puzzles. Uh, I don't like this, but we'll do that. Actually, I think in... I think in Big 29 it was half the game. I believe it was end of floor 5, which is half. There it is. I mean, it's also the fact that I've been playing Lolo for God knows how many years now. Cool, 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 cool. 
Ooh, look at that beautiful And color. this right here might be the second hardest Lolo I've played. Lolo 2J is still much tougher. That is so much better to do than having to do what the video showed me to do. Ooh, look at that beautiful gold! Let's go. Easy. Easy peasy. Ooh, look at that beautiful gold! This one is is the actual half block. Oh my god, Sammy actually worked. It's wondering what was going on. I almost forgot what to do. So it makes at least what makes this a little tougher is the fact that they duplicate stages but tweak it just a little bit. To mess with you. Like this level is gonna reappear in a towards the end of the game. Okay, here we need to go the long way around. So the so that fireball does not hit us. Remember to go down. Look at that beautiful gold! Okay, the trick here is that you need to... <laughs> you need to make the leapers sleep exactly where I'm putting them. Because the one thing you don't want is to, is to actually move. Because if you trap... If you block where the skull reappears, they will reappear outside where you are. If you put them where I put them, where I put the leapers, they don't show up anywhere. Or they're, sorry, they don't change their position. Alrighty, there will be another flashing coming up. Once I shoot, yeah, when I shoot this uh, Domedusa, if I shoot him, it'll be right here. There we go. Once it's paused, nothing can hurt you. There we go. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Look at that beautiful Look at that beautiful gold!
much better than last time. Ooh, look at that beautiful gold! Okay, perfect. I'll read it once I get a once I get a chance. Okay, that's 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 the hardest one. Remembering where to sleep him so he's not in the way. Now, at this one, you can be a little more adventurous. Just put him there. You might have to walk an extra few tiles, but it's, it's a safe spot. Now here's where the stages start getting a little bit more harder because I've only practiced them a few times. That didn't sound good. I know it's a truck, just a truck talking stuff. Ooh, look at that beautiful gold! Yeah, I practiced this quick level. Let's see if I can get it. Let's go. That destroys my gold. Ooh, look at that beautiful gold. Like, I do like that this game does have more than one song to play.
Excellent. Let's roll. Oh, uh, now this stage. This stage is uh, problematic. Oh, I almost had it. Okay, just go. The hardest part is this very first part where you have to cover these two. Oh, Jesus. Wasn't paying attention. I'm also dying. I'm also not dying because it just takes less time. Ah, I was off. Just off. It's hard. You've got to be very quick on the movement, and you need them to be in the right position. Yeah, see, if they spin, you don't really have much chance. Or things. I practice this practice this plenty of times and I just can't get it right in a run. <sighs> nope. Jesus. Wow, I that was just terrible all around. Why did he move left? <sighs> like, this is like the last true, like, stupid hard level. Got it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Should be okay. Yep, they're back. They're up there. We are fine. Let's hear it. Let's hear those magic words. Ooh, look at that beautiful gold. Come all the way down. Egg him. Go him away. Push him. Go him away. Go him away and then run right to the egg. Right to the key. Ooh, look at that beautiful goal! Okay, so I've... I've somewhat perfected a very super safe way to finish this stage. Because, as you can see, it's a room full of leapers in a very tight, confined space. Yeah, I can go here. Ooh, that was that's Oh my god, that's even easier. That way I don't have to move oh. Okay, this level's free now. F R E E E E. Holy crap, I'm looking at my sum of best. It's almost sub two. All 
All right, time for cave number three. I like what Noah's going through their mind. Like, okay, we're we're in a giant maze. And we have four gods. How should you distinguish which gods are which? Which gods are which? Oh, I know. We'll just do the four. We'll just do the four coordinates. Now this isn't actually the another level where we're gonna learn a new trick where goals do not hurt you as long as a rocket is pushing you. Okay, usually he doesn't do that. I don't know how he survived. That's all I'm gonna say. This was actually an easy level to learn, only for the fact that this was in either Famicom 1 or Famicom 2J. Forget which one it was in. Okay, you get you get all the hearts. Load away, you cover where it originally started in the lower left hand corner, and he will reappear right in between the, the bush and the Medusa. Excellent. Also, you just lost the game. Just saying. Just don't look at his chest. You lost the game. There will be another flash in this stage right here. It will happen the second the Leaper touches me when I have collected all the hearts. Is he too close now? We're going to be with Flash right here. Hit it again. I'm going to have to lose time here, but that's fine. Because I blocked the exit because I messed up early on, but that's fine. Actually, I'm still gonna save time due to the fact that I got this. I got in first try. Ooh, look at that beat of a goal! Okay, another another level we have to learn about half uh, half movement. Excellent. <laughs> Alright, 
Okay, come on, Leaper, start following me. This stage, this stage, this stage. This is a fun one. I always forget how to do that one if I screw it up, so... Because to make it easier, I want the skull to go to the left. went left half a block. Literally, it's the hardest part of the level is just dodging that, sna that, that skull. That gives me enough time. Okay, that was my own fault, just just for being dumb. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to do this. do the super fast way. We're just going to wait here. Remember to actually block that. There you go. That's the time save. Ooh, look at that beautiful gold! That's the time save just because, one, I relearned the fast way, and two, I didn't die from being stupid. Now we're just going to wait for the sneaky to reappear and egg the two skulls that appear. That way the others are that way the last one's trapped in here. Good to go. Oh, look at that beautiful gold. 
Okay, so there will be flashing the second the last goal is destroyed by the block. And actually, I need to I need to pay attention right here. Now. Ooh, look at that beautiful gold! Alright, first gotta push that on into a specific spot and then the worst part you need to use this skull as a blocker not just once but twice and then egg him Whew, didn't didn't i didn't get that by much Pushing the skulls where they need to be is not the hard part of the stage. The real fun is remembering where they're all supposed to go. Okay, do not get that heart. Yeah, we're safe. Nothing should get us now. And all of the Medusas are at least half blocked, so we don't have to worry about any shots killing us. There we go. Now, almost at the worst level of the... Oh no, we are at the worst level. Okay, we're good. We're good. Ooh, look at that beautiful goal! Such a scary stage.
Nice. Ooh, look at that beautiful gold. Oh, we are we are getting to the last eight, last few stages. Did that in the wrong order, but that's fine. Did I really forget to push that two down? I really wasn't paying attention. I forgot to do one thing I get to do right now. Yeah. Jesus. Small time loss, but that's fine. I say small, so it looks like it's almost 30 seconds. Jesus. Nope, oh, just forget it and go.
I literally forgot to push the block. Because I'm, I'm tired and I'm not paying attention. I can't believe I forgot to push the block. Literally, that's what you're supposed to do. I forgot to move down. Oh my god, what am I doing? I keep fucking up every, every small thing. <sighs> Jesus. This is not a hard stage. Yes, it's complex, but it's not that hard. The order of operations is in my head and what to do. right at the end, too. It's not that hard. Oh, I died. What? Jesus, that wasn't that much time. Two, almost three minutes. Losing three minutes right near the end is just awesome. the demo is that it brings you to this stage and it's so late in the game. It's always nice getting that first try. Ooh, look at that beautiful goal! Bye. 
Look at that beautiful gold. Flashing. So this is no different than Lolo 2. The only difference is that I do take one part a little, little slower. Except for right here because, you know, everything there is slow. But I always do this. I need to go down. Ooh, look at that beautiful gold. Stages left. Oh, sorry. Three hard stages. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, two hard stages, but we have three left to go. Oh yeah. What am I doing? What am I doing? Jesus, grab the hearts, you fool. one once this is done then we have one of the hardest stages in the game
half lock wrap around. Alrighty. This is a tricky stage. Precise movements like five, like eight times. Got it, let's go! Don't know what happened there. I thought I clunked, but I guess I didn't. I guess I was too focused on the stage. Alrighty. The final stage before the stages of all stages. Which are staged. For being staged. Ooh, that was a really good, that was a really good stage. Okay, here we go. Super hard stages. I'm gonna wait one more cycle, go. Oh, I forgot this. I forgot to grab this heart. That's fine. Okay. Halfway done with the the hell stages and then it's the maze of doom. Oh, 
first try. Let's go. Oh, look at that beautiful goal. I don't know why I made I made the split. Oh, look at that beautiful goal! Oh, look at that beautiful goal! Bottom left. Oh, look at that beautiful goal! Right top. Right bottom. Ooh, look at that beautiful goal! The last few stages. Only like two of them are hard. And then I screw it up. Bottom right, top right, bottom right, oh no, oh look at that beautiful goal, oh look at that beautiful goal, right bottom, okay damn it, Yeah, you're supposed to let him go in first. I don't know what I was thinking. The thing is, it's not a hard level, too. I just royally screwed it up. Shit, I forget what it is. Top right. Luckily, this is an easy stage. Top Louie. Maybe top left. Now here's the hard stage. The last two hard stages. Okay, good, got it. Oh no, shit. Uh, left bottom. Ooh, look at that beautiful goal!
Now one of the easy stages in the game. Any top. Alrighty, now we're just now we literally get just get just get to sit here. Cause now the game just pre you're pretty much at the end, you do a mock dragon warrior fight that you can't lose. So you do get some hilarity out of it. Yeah, essentially, you just gotta keep going until your health gets to one, and then you tickle the king three times. if if there is a quick way to do the fight like do certain action cause your health to go down a certain certain amount hope this actually decides to be you know, quicker because I have to read some medical records for, an, uh, for potential adoption. You know, let's tell him a joke. Let's just have some fun with it. you dodged. There we go. But I think it's, you do math, you do like massive damage, like you do a super attack. three times, then you get the tickle. Take away some mistakes. This is a sub two. The tickle. The king was pleased. And after their third tickle, he dies of laughter. Isn't that how we all want to go? With a smile on your face. So I guess it's an automatic like four minutes fight. Like there's nothing you can do to go faster. I think about this all night long. I stay awake, not sleeping, because I'm thinking about this. But there we go. We have our two, we have our massive PB. And the funny thing is, I might be fine with this. I could probably get it down even more, but I'm okay with it. I'll look at it and see, and, and see where the mistakes happen and work on that. But, anywho, I need to quickly go because I need to look at some stuff. Uh, 
actually, I'm going to go down later tonight over at RGL for the Retro Race finale. I am firmly in first place, but I'm going to pull up Boston Bruins and probably lose. So I'm going to go get myself a beer, some dinner, and get ready for that. So I hope anyone who's here comes over over to RGL and watches some retro, some retro five-minute racing. So uh, take care and have a good one.